What's going on, guys? In today's video, I'm going to go over both NBA playing games for Friday. Coming off another whiteboard winner, uh, brought this back. We did it all college basketball, all football, did really well. Now we're back for NBA. I'll be updating the whiteboard in today's video. I'll be doing videos all NBA playoffs long, so subscribe to my channel. Drop a like on today's video. I think if Jimmy Butler's knee wasn't destroyed, if Embiid wasn't as limited, it would have sailed over that total. I was also impressed with that Miami zone. It held up a lot longer than I thought. Uh, but we'll take the win. We'll move on. Uh, in premium, clients absolutely killed Wednesday. A 3-0 and NBA sweep. We're on the Bulls minus the points. Heat plus points. Uh, the over in that Bulls game. All three uh, just easy, sweat-free wins. You love to see it. Uh, MLB as well. Really starting to get going here in the MLB. Kind of figuring out where value is and you know, when you're in the beginning stage of the, of an MLB season and your sample size isn't big enough to where the pitching numbers, lineup numbers in terms of batting, like all this stuff is, it's it, it's a little bit exaggerated. So the deeper you get into MLB, the more profitable it becomes, but still on a four and one run uh, over just the last two days in the MLB. So starting to really dial in with MLB. It's going to be fantastic, man. We got less than two weeks here to finish April strong and then dive into May to try to set a record month. Uh, looking forward to it. Look, there's always ebbs and flows with sports betting, and it happens every single time. You go on a 30 and five, a 30 and eight run. A lot of people join, a lot of people come aboard, and then you cool off for a couple of days, and the hate comes, and people get negative. You get comments like I'll put on the screen, you know, fade this guy. He doesn't know anything. Just take the opposite. This dude's a total, you know, he's horrible, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to, I lost my life because of this clown. I took his free picks and, and lost all my money, you know, stuff like that. Uh, there's nobody on planet earth that wins 52 out of 52 weeks a year. I can tell you that for free. So if you're interested in a more serious sports betting option, join my premium. I'm $90 for an entire month. Less than that. You can just grab a week if you want to test the waters, but right now kind of coming off a couple of cold stretches here, you know, it's been a few days of a, a week or two of just kind of treading water. Well, is this the start of like a 30 and five run of a, a 30 and 10 run? I think it is. So uh, no better time to join my premium than when I'm starting to get dialed in again off of a cold streak. Uh, of course, that's completely up to you guys. I'm going to see how long we can keep this streak going. I feel great about the NBA right now. And you know what? I, these games are awesome today on Friday, but I'm just excited just to get these playing games over with. Like, just let's just move on. Um, I think I got a good idea on both of these games based on some injury reports. Okay. But I'm excited to just get into the series, man. Just give me the first round series. Let's 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 stop screwing around here. Like that total in the Bulls game uh, between the the Bulls statistics and their mid range and their advantage in the paint between the amount of three pointers that the Atlanta Hawks shoot and the defense of the Bulls. That would typically have been like a three, maybe a five unit play on that over. But in the play in games and like the very early stretch of, of the NBA, you you have to tiptoe in. You got to be smart with your money, manage your bankroll correctly. Uh, but here is we actually start to dig in over the first weekend here and into the future with this NBA season, we'll start to have some three and five unit plays uh, in premium. So excited to finally find some of those gem spots and hit them a little bit harder here once we get into some more consistent uh, playoff basketball. Looking forward to this thing here, guys. Let's go ahead and dive into the first video. First uh play on the video. I mean, Bulls here, they're catching a point and a half against the Heat. Um, actually, you know, maybe we'll switch. Maybe we'll start with this one. I think this is the one that people are looking at um, just based on, you know, the days they were played. I'm really confused here. I'm really confused about minus one. Uh, I thought it'd move up a little bit more. I I'm totally aware of the Pelicans record versus the Kings. Okay. More than aware. All right. Uh, but come on, Zion's out. He's not questionable. It's not a it's not a question mark. He's out. He's out. Their offense is so stagnant already. In in half court offense, it's horrendous. Keon Ellis, this dude looks elite. He looks almost all star level for the Kings. I mean, come on, man. Am I juiced up off coffee right now? Sure. Does that mean the Kings minus one is probably the right side to be on? Probably. Uh, I just like their energy, man. I like the King's energy here. Um, Sabonis, uh, that Valanciunas, man, does he like, does he, I need to check under his socks. Then I, I, I might even fly to this game. I might buy tickets last second, go to this Pelicans Kings game. I got to check his ankles, man. Valanciunas, do you know how to jump this man? When he rebounds, it's just like some fucking stiff 
old fucking caveman just going roar and like making a bunch of noise. And he doesn't come off the ground. He's a big body. He had, he's just the most unathletic, vertically challenged ogre I've ever seen in the NBA in, in, in quite some time. I think Sabonis is going to do just fine. We saw Sabonis have a little bit of foul trouble in the previous game. I think he'll be a little bit smarter here. Um, I like the pace, man. The pace is just a different. I, I, I think the Kings pace is an advantage here. I, I don't like the look of the Pelicans half court offense. And the fact that the Pelicans have beaten the Kings this many times this season, are you really going to beat them again with a Brandon Ingram that looks much less than hundred percent and no Zion? I don't think so. I think the Kings are probably the right side to be on here. And the books keep in this thing at, at Kings minus one. I think it's a trap, man. I think they're doing anything they can to try to make people second guess it because the line's so low and make people really think the Pelicans have a chance here. I'll, I'll, I'll probably be on the Kings in this game in terms of the spread. In terms of the total, um, the total's tougher, okay? Because we have, like I said, we got this issue with the Pelicans' half-court offense. Now, if this is an up-and-down game, up-and-down game, McCollum and Brandon Ingram, uh, Murphy, maybe if these guys get into a rhythm at a faster speed and the Kings also match that, maybe we can get over 211. I mean, it's a small number. It's in the NBA. 106 apiece will get us there. Um, but I'm a little bit worried of the Pelicans' offense. Um, in terms of a total... I think there's a little bit of a better way to go in terms of alternate game lines you can take in the books. Uh, I'll probably have to uh, uh, keep that particular wager quiet. That'll be, um, you know, a select pick for premium. So uh, I'm going to lean over in the general game total of 211 and a half. Uh, let's get to this other game here. Bulls plus one and a half. Uh, again, it's just, a, isn't it the same story on both sides? Pelicans and injured Zion. The Heat and injured Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy Butler is toast, man. Uh, and shout out to Jimmy Butler because Zion had a hamstring injury. Did you see him walking off the court? I mean, he's throwing a towel. He's mad and stuff. But he he wasn't like limping like he got shot in the leg by a rifle. Like, dude, Zion, you couldn't tough out two fucking more minutes of basketball? Jimmy Butler played the whole game without a fucking knee. So shout out Jimmy Butler for having toughness. This Zion dude, he's just soft, man. He's soft, mentally soft, a gifted uh, athletic dude, um, but just can't stick with the diet, doesn't have the discipline, and can't even tough out a, a hamstring injury in a, in, a, in a critical game in the playoffs. I thought that was weak. I, I thought it was really gutsy of Jimmy Butler, basically without an entire leg to lean on to still get through that game and, and, and give his heart. So shout out Jimmy Butler for that. Hopefully Zion uh, goes and spends a couple days with David Goggins. Maybe he needs to go uh, to Bud's training with the Navy SEALs to toughen up a bit because the potential is there. He's just he's just a pussy, straight up. Uh, look, in this game, it's a similar situation. I'm going to go ahead and side with the Bulls. Love the energy. Uh, Kobe Waits playing great. DeMar's pull-up game. Um, and they got the bigs, man. They're going to be able to neutralize Bam out of bio down there. I don't see Bam going crazy. I like the rebounding. I like the defense. Uh, I like the experience of players like Caruso and DeMar. And I, I like the young energy. Um, I'm forgetting his name. Who's that guy who runs so crazy? It starts with a, a, a D, I think. Having a total mind blank right now. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. There's a guy on, 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 on the Bulls who just always on fast breaks and anytime he gets it, he just like, he's crazy. He, sometimes he's out of control and he turns it over, but I like the speed. I don't think that the, the, the Miami heat defense will be as effective against the bulls because of their ability to move so fast. Um, the mid range shot, the rebounding, the big guys and, and the depth that they have, uh, in the front court. I, I like the bulls here. You're going to give me a point and a half. I'll take the point and a half. Um, I don't think it's going to be a total runaway game like the Hawks was. At the end of the day, it's still Eric Spolstra on the other side of the court and Miami Heat culture. That's tough to go against. Um, Tyler Hero, Caleb Martin, uh, Bam out of bye. I mean, there are still guys without Jimmy Butler that can make this thing um, very interesting down the stretch. Um, and if it is a close game, I mean, it's clutch first clutch. Do you trust DeMar? Do you trust Tyler Hero with a pull-up three? Who knows? It could be a close game. I'm, I'm going to lean, though, taking the Bulls. You're going to give me a point and a half of the Bulls. I'll take it. 
Uh, I'm actually surprised that they're not laying a point and a half. The total at 205, again, uh, it's just like that Sixers game, man. Um, but without Jimmy Butler, so here's this is a really, a really contradicting total. Because now without Butler, uh, you know, his ability to go in and get free throws, kind of run the offense. I watched that Miami Heat team when the when the crowd got into it in Philly and when and when Philly kind of picked up that defense, when Batum and and Maxi and some of these guys were starting to get physical in terms of defense. It looked like they really struggled with the point guard. And we saw that backcourt violation towards the end of the game. That was critical. Uh, Hawkes and and Tyler Hero, they just don't look, they almost look scared to like be the ball handler uh, in certain times. So that concerns me for sure against the Bulls here. I like the ball handling. I like the 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 backcourt of the Bulls better. I like their energy. I like their depth. Um, I just kind of, I don't know. They just got better vibes. I'm going to roll with them. And I think in terms of this total, uh, like I said, it's just, it's a huge contradiction because I think Miami Heat can really struggle here. Uh, the lack of the backcourt, the lack of the 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 organization offensively that you're going to have without Jimmy Butler in the mix. I mean, what do you go? You go team total over, uh, team total under on the Heat, maybe something like that, possibly uh, team total over for the Bulls. I think it's probably better to divide it uh, in terms of what I'm actually going to go with. I got a good idea. I'm going to reserve that as well for members. I think both of the games here on Friday have great opportunities in terms of some team props. Uh, but still, at the number of 205, um, I'm going to lean over the 205. I'm going to lean over in the other game as well. Uh, guys, my TikTok link in the description. I'll be posting free stuff on TikTok. My SoBet link in the description. I've uh, been starting to pick back up steam on SoBet. If you guys aren't familiar with SoBet, it's kind of a social media platform with 50 or 60 professionals. It's a cheaper option. I, I don't put all my premium on there. A single pick a day, way, way less volume than my actual website. Uh, but if you do sign up for SoBet, you'll get my daily best bet per day, and you'll also get exposure to 55 other professional bettors on that platform. A lot of people that I'm sure you guys see on the, the social media platforms, Pick em PD, uh, What Up Bro Bro, Deepak, uh, Ghost Picks Jimmy, all those people are on SoBet. Uh, nasty from Nasty Sports. You'll get all of those people if you do sign up with the SoBet link in the description. Just an option, uh, but the website's where you want to be. I mean, just now, just lately, when people, you know, I'm losing a couple subscribers, a couple people dropping off premium, totally understandable. It's no problem. D don't feel bad about it. If you guys are, you know, if you can't sustain a couple of weeks in sports betting, not only should you drop off of my channel, you should drop out of the industry if you can't go through a little bit of a cold stretch. Uh, so can't wait to go on another one of those big runs. It, it's just the ebbs and flows of sports betting. It's so funny. You, you get super hot. You go on like a full month. You go on a tear. You gain 20, 25 units. A lot of people jump aboard and want to just, you know, make all this money. And then when you go cold, you know, all of a sudden you're just uh, the evil villain, right? Horrible, may, maybe the worst in the industry. And as soon as everyone gets negative, uh, it just always seems like another big run starts. I think that's what we have here. Feel great about MLB. Feel great about these NBA playoffs. Uh, I'm going to have some future bets out. Just a lot going on right now. Uh, no better time to hop on the website and grab a package of mine. The amount of games when you still have all these, these, these series, okay, when you're deeper into the playoffs, like conference finals or finals, there's only so many games per week. But in the early stretches, think of how many games you're going to have my premium picks to. Uh, so if you are looking for maybe like a monthly package, this is the best value you're going to get. MLB will fill in the gaps, uh, of course, when the NBA action is a little bit uh, on the low. So I think that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and update the whiteboard right now. We'll go ahead and do a whiteboard winner. Hopefully we can get to two and one with this one. Let me double check the number just so I can give you guys something a little bit more accurate. I want to quadruple check here. All right, I wrote it extra sloppy, but Kings on the money line. When you're for both of these games, guys, both of the games are a one point spread and a one and a half point spread. If you do like the Pelicans, if you do like the Bulls, I, re I, I, I do recommend in what could be close games taking the point, taking the point and a half. But if you like the favorite, like I like the Kings in this game, just go with the money line. Don't mess around with a point or something. I mean, Kings minus one is 112. Kings on the money line is minus 118. Are you really going to trip about six cents to possibly have a push if they win by one? 
Kings money line. That's going to be the free pick winner in today's video. Let me know your guys' favorite bets for these both of these series uh, down in the comments below. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video.